you guys i'm just i don't want to say i'm stressed out because i'm not but i'm stressed okay it's what's up y'all welcome back to your girl channel today is gonna be another day in the life with mo i actually don't have many plans today but your girl is getting into this vlogging so we gonna bring you along with me i actually do want to go to ikea because my sister is actually moving in with me so i'm gonna show you guys my second bedroom i had no idea what i wanted to do with it and she's actually wanting to buy a house soon so i figured you know why not use the extra room because you know i'm not using it so did empty out the entire closet kind of ish you know i'm still on the process of doing that she probably will be moving in maybe in another week or two not 100 percent for sure so i want to make sure that i'm getting everything out of the room and the bathroom so that she can have enough room in there so i'm going to show you guys what that looks like and i actually did take a picture in this outfit so you guys will see the full oh, picture on instagram i couldn't think about what it was so i'm going to show you guys actually what the room looks like because all you guys seen was when it was empty and i did move in my dresser in my room it was in here so let me just show you guys what it looks like so it is super duper messy in here just because i'm getting rid of a lot of stuff and i'm trying to figure out what i'm going to do with some of the other stuff so this is the closet this entire closet was filled up from the top to the bottom like i can't lie to you guys and then the mirror is actually gonna go in my bedroom which i'll show you guys how that looks now too i look crazy I look real crazy. This room look crazy. You know, it's kind of time to take this wig off now. You know, it's kind of it's kind of sweating out a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys what my room looks like currently. So say hey to Zeus. Are you tired? <laughs> huh? Nah, it's cold. Say, say to the vault. Hey, Vaughn. Hey, baby. Hey, Vaughn. Don't be great. It's not Vaughn? No, it's not Vaughn. Quality looks bad. You, you said what? So the quality looks bad. It's YouTube. Say hey, YouTube. What's up, hey, YouTube? babies. Say hey, babies. Y'all see my fine girlfriend? Say hey, babies. And her ugly man. Say hey, what? Babies. Hey, babies? Babes. Hey, babies. No, just say hey, babes. Hey, babes. <laughs> okay. All right, so I wanted to show you guys. It's a little messy right now because of me recording. Dresser looks like in front of my TV. I actually kind of like it. I did move things over because I was recording and I wanted it to show in the video. But that's how that looks. And then the mirror is going to be over there. Excuse the mess. Okay, y'all. We trying to improvise. My sister moving in, so I need to make some room for her. And then... This is over here, whatever. Oh my gosh, y'all are gonna talk about me. I'm gonna do a cleaning video one day. <laughs> but all of the shoes that are in here, actually, because I was trying to find some shoes for a picture, all of these shoes are actually gonna go on a shoe shelf behind my door. So I do wanna get the Billy bookshelf from Ikea and like put it in this area. Oh, making a mess. And then all I did was basically move both of my shelves in here. I do have my little mirror, this one here, that I actually put up here. So that's how that looks. And then I want to go and get five more of these so that I can put some stuff that's in the other room in there. And then put some up there, so that's the full closet right now i've actually stuffed so much stuff in here you guys like i got stuff there that you can't see i really tried my best to hide everything so that it still looks like a clean and nice closet but that's everything so ikea is definitely going to be a move today and then i want to go to the restaurant actually it's not a restaurant the one that i went to in my first vlog it's called bahama tommy bahama and i want to bring my boyfriend there so I'm gonna get this wig off and then 
we're gonna get to getting cute this wig is actually from arabella i really really love the hair so much if you guys seen the 613 hair that i turned like into this ash blonde that was from them too and i really like it i don't have to do nothing to it you guys probably already seen the video of me installing it so i really wanted to show you guys how i remove my wigs without having to get in the shower and just you know slightly wet the edges because they got to be spray from holding on really good i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all that I actually do have my little stand. I've been using it all the time. That's ghetto. Okay, so basically what I do is put my hair all the way back. I'm gonna grab my hair towel. spray bubble so that's all you're gonna need and then basically what you want to do is because I like to do this before I get in the shower so I just oops, spray and if you guys use got to be spray instead of glue this is so much easier because you can just take it off. And I am taking this outfit off too, by the way. But see, look at the bubble. Just imagine having glue. Okay, so now that it's all wet, I just use some really cheap conditioner. This conditioner is normally what I use on my wigs, just because you don't really need like some type of conditioner or shampoo for your wigs. And then you just want to put some conditioner all over. Y'all, I really like this hair. I don't think you guys have ever seen me reinstall. It's just it was time for it to go but look at it look <laughs> oh. the hair really did last though it's so freaking hot in florida and i've taken some pictures in these you know pictures take a long time a little bit more conditioner with the conditioner actually really helps it to come off smoothly and it's not pulling your edges mm -hmm. so it's sliding off okay so this spray No, but see, edges aren't pulled out. They're a little red, but they're not pulled out. So now I just need to go ahead and wash my hair and style it so we can get ready to go. What's up, you guys? So it's literally the next day. So yesterday did not turn out 
um at all how i wanted it to so let me just give you guys the rundown because i was not recording didn't feel like it. i was super upset and whatever so yesterday my car if you guys don't know i do drive an audi a3 it's you know not super major but it is still a luxury car which requires luxury money to fix it if it gets broken down so yesterday a light came on my car um i don't know if it was like something with the engine i don't know but still trying to get all that figured out the car is running okay the light did go off it's fine but i'm scared that it's not 100 percent fixed because i didn't go and get it looked at so last month i actually had to spend 600 dollars on getting the car fixed and stuff like that this month another light came on and i'm just listen real 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 stressed out with this freaking car i really want to get rid of it not because it's like so many things um wrong with it but it's just like things back to back i've only had it for two years and it's kind of annoying like ain't nobody got time for that so yesterday that's what happened didn't end up recording didn't end up doing anything that i was supposed to do um and then my sister um is actually not going to be moving in anymore so what i actually kind of sat down and did was wait, was there something on the camera it's not okay sorry y'all what i actually kind of sat down and did was because i have enough money you know to pay for my bills like i'm fine i'm comfortable but i'm trying to think long term because i do not want to live in an apartment forever i do plan on buying a house my mom has actually sat down and talked with me because she bought a house I want to say about two or three years ago and it's kind of turned out good for her so we were doing numbers and stuff like that and it would honestly be smarter for me to kind of cut down on everything that I can so I'm actually going to be moving apartments same apartment complex just going across the hall to a one bedroom I honestly do not use what you guys seen I don't use the other bedroom just yet I just stored stuff in there so it's literally going to be the same exact setup it's just a one bedroom so it's gonna be a little bit smaller um but my car situation I'm not sure if I want to keep my car or if I do want to trade it in to get something else to kind of save money in that area too that way when it is time for me to buy a house then it'll all kind of like you know work out but you guys i'm just i don't want to say i'm stressed out because i'm not but i'm stressed okay it's a lot to think about it's a lot to do especially around this time like i really want to make sure i'm making the correct decision sometimes i do end up just jumping into stuff and not thinking and that's something that you guys should think about too like if you see somebody doing this or getting that don't just automatically get into it or if you really 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 just want something don't just jump into it because that's my issue like I see something that I want and I always get it and it's not super super smart like you really have to kind of lay down everything so yeah I'm just gonna be switching into the one bedroom I didn't know what I wanted to do with the other bedroom anyways and the other bathroom didn't get used until somebody came over here and just used it it's it was really pointless so I am going to be moving probably I want to say in a week and a half across the hall so I don't have to like go everywhere else trying to get a truck and all that stuff like that I still have my same view it's gonna be you know just about the same thing it's just I'm not gonna have the extra bad bedroom or bathroom um trying to see but other than that you know your girl has y'all need to help me for real for real I keep getting, I don't know if this camera is picking up really good, but your girl keep getting styes. I've always gotten them like my entire life. And my lashes, I did just kind of let them all fall off, but I don't be wanting to get them done because I have a sty, and I don't know if it's sanitary to go and get your lashes done while you have a sty. So I just try to let this go down before I do. And then I did get my hair dyed. So I got hair dyed all over me. So, got my hair done. You guys, I do not flat iron my own hair like this. I could never actually get it done from, you know. Actually, my mom's best friend. He's really, really good. 
and my hair has really grown in the last year. I don't know if you guys remember when I made that video of me cutting my hair. My hair was here, y'all, like right here. Now it's here. So just imagine in the next year, it's gonna be like, girl. And everybody keeps telling me I look like my mom. You guys should, I'm gonna probably, nah, I ain't gonna do myself like that, but I do. I look just like my mom with my freaking hair like this. It's so weird, but yeah. So a lot of different things switching up, you know, I'm really trying to make sure I'm staying focused and getting things in order because I do not want to rent forever. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I actually had somebody comment on one of my, or on my, I think it was fully furnished apartment tour. Some, I'm assuming that she was a child. I don't know how old she was, but she was like, I can't wait until I get older so I can get an apartment like yours. And this was after I kind of like was going through all of this, you know, trying to figure out what's really smart and what isn't. I just comment back and I was like, listen, if you can stay with your parents as long as you can to save up some money and then go and buy a house, it's smarter. It's so much smarter. Like. Don't get me wrong, I really love my apartment. I really, really love it. Like, if this could be a bigger house, it would be amazing. But it's honestly a waste of money. Like, you're just paying to rent to stay here. It's not paying because you own it. It's not going towards anything. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I wanna get a house and invest into something. Like, when I get this house, I'm, I don't know if it's gonna come the way I want it to come. So I do wanna add money into it. Like. I'm really trying to think of long term instead of short term and like this is what I want that's what I want that's how I want it to be so I know this video is probably going to be super long but I really just want you guys to kind of sit there before you try try to make a decision like literally sit there and think about it before you do it because a lot of times I just just go and do and just go and do which don't get me wrong, I really love my two bedroom apartment, but I'm not using the other room. There's no point. Could save a few dollars there and put that towards saving for a house. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm gonna do. And then if my car end up just, you know, going to trash, I'll have a lot of money saved there to either buy another car or get the car fixed or whatever I gotta do. But I'm kind of excited to downsize because I need to get rid of a lot of stuff still. Like I'm going through my stuff, y'all. I was literally just throwing stuff in this extra room, like the closet and everything. And I'm just like, why am I keeping any of this stuff? Like you're just, you're just holding on to it for when you do get a house, when you can just buy stuff then. So I need to make sure that I'm going through everything so that when I'm sliding everything over to the next apartment, it's going to be you know, everything's gonna be organized and it's actually things that I use. So what I'm actually going to do today because um, I'm not gonna go to Ikea anymore and get a bookshelf until I get everything moved over. I'm pretty sure I do still want the Billy bookshelf and some more of those bins, but I wanna get everything in first and kind of try to organize a little different. That way I'm not just buying stuff for no reason. And then I'm going to go and get my nails done. But before I do that, I do want to take a shower and do my toes. I don't feel like paying nobody for my toes because remember when I did my nails, like my own acrylic nails, I bought all this stuff to do my toes. So I've been doing my own toes because I don't get no pedicure. I just polish my toes. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to take y'all with me to get my nails done and then whatever else I have planned today. So I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about what I use for my toes. So I bought this little lamp thing, which I'll try to link it down below, but this is what I use to, I guess, dry the gel polish. And then, weird. I got a whole bunch of stuff for y'all. I use the DMB top and what is it? Base coat. And then I have some white. I think this one is a Snow White, same thing, DD. And this is what I use for my toes. And I just found some filers on filers, some files on Amazon. I have a nail drill that I got on Amazon too. It's really cheap. And it 
came with a whole bunch of these little things. So that's what I'm gonna be using to get this off. And yeah, so I'm actually gonna cut on some long order because that's what I show. And do my toes thing, or do my toes. So you guys, I literally just got out of the nail salon. I tried to record as much as I could, but I was like 40, 45 minutes late. So I wasn't able to like take my time because she was rushing. She had other people waiting on her, but these are the nails. I didn't want like, I always kind of go back with short and long, but I didn't want the typical like French tip that they normally do. She actually polished it on and she did it straight so i like these um and i do have what is it like an ombre pink color you guys will probably see or you've already seen that in the clip of the nails so that's what i do and i just go back and forth i really like natural nails even when i do them super long like they're always really natural they may have like a slight design sometimes they don't even have a design but that's my nails and i got in before it started raining because it's raining right now or it's sprinkling but I'm gonna go and get 
hopefully some food. I wanted to go in the mall, but I'm not getting out because my hand is not getting messed up today. It's just not. Y'all see how bad my freaking eye looks? It looks like I have a disease or something. But. <sighs> So I'm gonna go ahead and go and get some food. Hopefully it stops raining or something. Cause I wanna go in the mall. That looks very good. What's up babes? So it is later in the day, like actually super late. I think it's like 10 o'clock at night. Um, but the rain just kind of killed my mood. Didn't wanna do anything after I got done eating. So I just came home, kind of took a nap and well, took a shower, took a nap and laid in bed. Um, this vlog has been, I don't want to say it's been like really negative, but it hasn't been like the most positive. And I do just want you guys to know, like, you know, even if you are feeling down, you don't feel like, you know, the best you, it is okay to feel that way. Like nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect, but you realizing, you know, that you have to get it together and keep it moving is you know the best thing that you could ever do because it's definitely okay to feel down it's definitely okay to take a step back but i do just want you guys to know like i am not making this decision on moving or anything like that because i know i'm probably going to get a lot of questions because i have to it's because i want to so i'm trying to make a super smart decision for future plans um i just know next year it's going to be a lot better this year has just been horrible you guys it's been the worst it's actually i'm not, not gonna say everything has been the worst but it's been a lot of bad like so i'm trying to bring the positive i'm trying to make sure that next year i'm going in super strong and you guys need to make sure that you are doing the same with that being said i am actually on boohoo right now um looking for like some workout clothes just because i do have some but they're not the best quality like i have a few adidas a few nikes of course those are really good but i do also have like some really cheap workout stuff and i want something that's gonna last me for a while so i've been looking at like different websites like pretty little thing you know the the basics that we could all shop at and we all know about so i've been looking on boo and I actually found some really really nice pieces and they kind of look like they're gonna be like super good quality so hopefully there's gonna be a haul for that soon because I'm excited they look really good guys I am really sorry that this vlog wasn't like me going out as much and doing a whole bunch of different things I just was put in a little mood just because of my car and that's the first time that this has ever happened. That's my first luxury of car. I mean, I've had it for a few years, but this is, it just killed me, you know. But everything's fine with it. You know, it's running fine. I'm able to go back and forth to work in different places like that. So everything's good with the car now. Um, but yeah, I'm really sorry that this vlog isn't, you know, as extra as you guys probably have wanted me to be. But I'm still going to post it just because I want to keep you guys like updated in my life and stuff like that. So if you guys have any questions, I do actually, I'm probably going to do this next year just because I want to make sure that my plan is going to work. Um, But I really want to do like videos of like, I don't want to say financial things, but like how to manage money. I've actually gotten questions on that when I did my... um. Q&A so I think I'm going to do a video like that next year just because I want to make sure that I mean I'm normally good with like planning ahead and doing all that stuff like that but, but yeah that is something that I do want to do next year I just want to make sure that my plan is you know gonna work it's gonna work so I'm gonna keep y'all updated on that but let me know if you guys actually really not actually really but if you guys actually like you know when i'm doing vlogs hopefully this one wasn't too boring or anything like that but yeah i look so crazy without my lashes and this thing is my nightmare okay like i always get them and i have no idea why like i clean my freaking lashes 
more than anybody else in this world i'm telling you like i clean my lashes cleaning so i don't know so y'all make sure y'all let me know how i can get rid of these thighs and prevent them if you do know um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here hopefully it wasn't too boring but as always i'll see you guys in the next video